Hello everyone and welcome back to a new species coding tutorial. My name is Leaf and it's so great to have you guys back here for another one of these. Oh my gosh, isn't that great? So before we get started, I do want to say that I'm making this new one specifically on the request of several other modders and several prospect modders as we do enter a new age within kind of like the coding era of Planet Zoo. Axie just gets better and better. And we're really just trying to figure out how we could best get the animals in the game. And with that, we've had so many awesome kind of like revolutions within modding. So we're just kind of jumping in here and seeing what kind of trouble we could get ourselves into. Now, before we do get started, I do want to say that you will need three programs as far as I'm aware. Uh, SQLite, that is going to be our database editor. Uh, you could easily just download that from the internet. The link to that will be in the description down below. Really awesome program. Uh, the next one will either be Notepad++ or Sublime Text. Uh, these are just better than your standard Notepad, which you can use. I just don't really recommend it. Um, and yeah, uh, moving on from there, you also should have Cobra Tools. Uh, you could check out Nick's tutorial on installing that, uh, specifically because I don't know how to anymore. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is actually take a existing animal mod and copy and paste it. So for the purposes of this, uh, specifically an Axie animal mod, uh, of course, if you guys reach out to me, you're more than welcome to use mine. Just reach out to me first in order to use my coding. You can see why. I kind of have this standardized once we actually do get into the files, that is. But without further ado, I say we could just jump right in here with... I ended up choosing the black crappy. Uh, I didn't originally have this installed, uh, but I decided to go with it because it's one of my most up-to-date mods. And I do want to show you guys how you can actually transform something that's on a crocodile base into something else. Uh, so that's always going to be a very important step. So while we get started over here, I do have all my stuff ready to go. We are going to be coding the Victoria Crown Pigeon over here. And I just need to make sure I know what it actually looks like inside here. So you're always going to want an eight letter code name. You can always change this up, uh, but I prefer to always keep it eight letters for consistency. Uh, so over here, I'm going to do India Cr Victoria Crown Juvenile. And I'm just going to rename my animal files right away, just to make sure I know what I'm working with. So with all that being said, I'm going to open up my OVL data folder again. And there I go with like <laughs> all my settings. Um, so I'm going to go over here. I have two of them because I've been modding Jurassic World Evolution 2 a lot. So I'm going to take that same code name and you can't forget about this. So if you do want to, you could always create a little kind of like notepad over here. And I'm just going to change this one right over here uh, and keep this over here. So change crap white, I think it was, or black, I forget. Uh, but you're going to change one to the other. And I'm just realizing that is inverse. You guys could tell it's been a while since I've been doing this jazz. So right off the bat, I will suggest that you guys do your lock files right away. It really helps with organization within the coding process. And you can see right over here. I have them all ready to go. And there's a lot of specific things that you guys can actually get accustomed to in here. Uh, you have various different aspects of the game, such as color morphs. Because this one will not have an albino, I just have it as blue plumage. Uh, you have a lot of different small things in here. You have average life expect expectancy, size, weight, continents. That's where like the continents that it's from. Keep in mind that does not correlate with inside the game. This is purely text. Uh, we'll actually show you how to change that once we actually get in there. Description, you have that all in there. The families, genuses, orders, and classes. This one's a little bit funky. So if you don't see one, such as, let's just say there's a family leaf, you could just copy paste the one that's already in there and change that to say leaf, and then change that one in there to say leaf. Very simple as that. And you can do the same thing with the genus as well as the orders. If you're going to be working on animals that really haven't been modded before, that's going to be something that you'll really want to kind of do. 
moving down here you also have mating type they're polygonous i'm not really sure if they are but it's okay because i don't really care about the text files all too much it's just a personal thing scientific name you just copy paste that really simple is that you have social needs you have reproduction needs all this stuff this is all purely text so it doesn't really affect the mechanics of the game all too much so i just wanted to show you guys that now we will go over here and plop this right over here to english united states and you could edit that right inside the folder as well if you are so inclined to but what we're going to do is actually go back up here to the top file and we're actually going to go over here to copy lock this is a wonderful little program made by hexabit i can't thank him enough for this because this has saved my butt so many times uh, it essentially copies all the lock files from this folder right here and replaces them throughout all the other folders. Uh, keep in mind that Planet Zoo does have several languages, so if you guys do want to get them translated, please contact Bongo Hardwood as a way to really make sure that you're able to do that, uh, as well as translate for other people's mods. Now, I'm not sure why it isn't working. I'm just going to pop over here to Germany, see if they actually took it, and it says Black Crappy. Okay, that is still not working. I think I need to run it as an administrator. Okay, let's see if that actually works. Sorry guys, it's been quite some time. Okay, that is still not working. I think it might need to be back up here at the top level. Yes, it def it does. It does. Okay, ignore what I did just there because this should hopefully, if we can check the French language. Yep, Victoria Crown. There we go. Okay, your lock files are now done. You do not need to worry about that folder anymore. What you can do now, though, is the manifest. And this one is going to be super easy to do because you just need a handy-dandy program called Online UUID Generator. And once you log in here, this is your unique UUID. You just copy-paste that right over here. Make sure not to go over those little, like, arrows uh, because that will break your game. And then you change this to Vic Crown, and that's super easy. Now your manifest is done. We're slowly but surely getting through all of this. Now in this tutorial, I am not going to show you how to actually make new species as in terms of like visual. Uh, I like to code for a lot of other people, so do keep that in mind. That's why I'm able to easily do this. Uh, but popping in here, I am going into my animals folder. I'm going into Vic Crown going to delete what was there before and I'm going to copy paste this over here now easily we would be done with that except we need to do one quick little change in here no longer do we need a data edit but we still do need to change the model names so we can go over here and copy Indian peafowl juvenile paste that right over here and you'll see that this is the eight character name you cannot instantly go over here and rename that that will break this file the way the animal files work, you cannot actually do that because they need to be the same character length. However, with the recent additions of Axie, we no longer need to do that. We can actually tick Mesh OVL mode, Control R, and you may see that nothing has happened, but if you go to MS2, you can see that that one was changed. If you go to MDL2, that one was changed. And if you go to Motion Graph, yes, that one was changed as well. You're done. You don't need to worry about coding the animal OVLs anymore. You don't need to dot edit. You don't need to do any of that funky stuff. It's as simple as that. Now over here to UI, I'm just realizing I still have all that stuff extracted. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to go over here to my real OVL data folder, if I can actually find it. Here we go. And I'm just going to select it right there. Now what I'm going to teach you to do is something that is extremely helpful. It's something that will really, really help you down the line. It's gonna be using the process folder technique. So all I want you guys to do is highlight Vic Crown, okay? Highlight that inside of the Cobra tools. And then what you're going to wanna do is take this name and then change it to this name. Simple as that, Control R. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna search all throughout this folder right here and change everything over to Vic Crown. You can see that if we open the init, it will be Vic Crown. You can see that if we open any of these files, it will be Vic Crown. Super simple, super as easy as that. So what I'm also gonna do is actually just extract some of these files right away. 
just so I can have these for later. These are the icon files. Uh, this is kind of like the Zoopedia files. These are the animal icons in the trading screen. Very simple stuff over there. Now what I'm going to do is actually show you guys the init. We're actually not going to be doing anything in here all too much. Except for the fact that we do need to do something in here. Actually, I forgot to show you guys one other thing. We're going to capitalize both of these. Keep process folders still ticked. And then rename contents. Now what this is going to do, this is going to, like I said, rename the contents. Very simple as that. So if we now extract these, you can see that they are now Vic Crown. Very simple, very easy. So if you pop in here, you can see that they all refer back over to Vic Crown. Very easy as that. So what I'm also going to do is change... I'm not sure what I'm going to change just yet. I haven't really experimented with that. Let's work on the main a little bit, and then we can troubleshoot later. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is just extract everything out from over here, and just check that everything was renamed properly. Just make sure that everything was actually, you know, correct. So what I will ask you guys to do, once you do check all of that, is delete everything, except for... I don't think you need education, no. Okay, you can delete everything except for... I think you don't even need research anymore. I'm just going to double check that really quickly. I believe that the Cobra tools now actually do your own research numbers, which are right over here. So we could actually check that out later down the line. Uh, but you're going to check over here, species. Yep, okay. So this is everything that you guys will need. You will need four files. Axie data, Vic Crown Animals, well, codename animals, codename research, codename Zoopedia. We'll start off with Zoopedia because this one is the easiest. So I have my handy dandy Wikipedia already ready to go. And what I'm going to do is actually go in here to genus. And I'm going to copy this one from Wikipedia and paste it right in there. Then I'm going to go over here to family and then paste it right in family. And you guys may be saying, Leaf, what are you doing? What is this crazy madness? Well, this is the benefit of SQLite, which, by the way, just open these files with SQLite, the FDB files. What you're actually doing over here is affecting the rest of the tables, and you can actually see that they already automatically updated. And you just have some small stuff over here, too, near threatened. You just change that out. And it's very simple and very easy as that to do the Zoopedia. Very easy stuff over there. If you guys have any questions, be sure to join the Cobra Tool server and just figure, just ask um, what everyone <laughs> gives their uh, gives their little tricks to. So over here, uh, this is something that I always like to do. Um, this one is part of the Cayman OBL. You could probably tell that because of Deep Swim. Uh, you could see that right in here. Yeah, Deep Swim Explore. So you're actually, if you guys are making a mod that uses a different base of your animal, you're gonna follow this part that I'm doing. If you're using the same base of the animal, you could just skip ahead to like the little bit of cosmetic section that we're gonna do. But for our purposes, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna go over here to the OVL data folder and we're gonna extract a fresh animals FDB from the content zero asset package because that is where the animal that we're making it is based off of. Since it's the Indian P file, we will need the Indian P file kind of data. So we're going to take that over here. We're going to rename that Vic Crown. And we're going to open that one up. So what we're going to do over here is I'm actually going to go into my scripts. And here we go. This piece of little awesomeness is actually on the modding server. So if you guys do want this, please go over there to modding resources under the Planet Zoo tab to get this. So what I'm gonna do is change Babarusa to Indian P file, and I'm gonna copy all these tables. And what I'm gonna do over here is just make sure that we have, yep, we have everything in here. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to open SQLite and editor, and we're just gonna paste that in there. And what this is going to do is delete everything that doesn't say Indian P file from the rest of the FDB. So I'm going to run that with the little play button over there. You can also click F9. And what that essentially does is go through every single one of these files, except for animal definitions. 
but you could see that many of these will be affected by that animal digging since the ending file doesn't dig that doesn't really get affected all too much i'm trying to see where this was actually a problem social enrichment this one is going to be a bit of a fun one so we'll actually save that for later i'll show you guys how to add social enrichment and stuff like that but it seems like everything was more or less taken care of and usually they add some small things throughout here uh just to really mess with those modders sometimes but you could go ahead and attempt to delete everything over here uh delete everything except for indian peafowl which should be very easy except for what are you timberwolf oh yes so they actually added something over here that i do want to add um chorus animal singing data i'm just gonna <laughs> change that to indian peafowl so that they actually vocalize with each other and that way uh, and if you saw that that was red, uh, that is because that was being used by another cell. Uh, my scripts really aren't up to date for the animal chorus behavior, but I think that was actually good because it reminded me to do that. Uh, so over here, we now have Indian peafowl all the way through. So what I want to do is go over here and change all of these to Vic Crown. What this is going to do is essentially allow us to put in our prefabs and stuff like that that's why they're the prefabs up there so i will use male visuals for the adults and i will use juvenile visuals for the actual juvenile right over there uh what we're essentially going to be working with over here is just making sure that we can have juvenile scaling which i will teach you guys how to add but essentially this really is it um I'm going to proceed anyway so you could see that they now updated so I'm gonna add all my other kind of continent names so they are from Australasia perfect uh, and you can get really funky with all this stuff um, there's a lot of different things that you can do Indonesian names I would like to have um, and over here you can also add social enrichment data so you could add Indian uh, nope, you can add Vic Crown, and I'm just trying to think of something that lives in Indonesia and Borneo, Proboscis Monkey. So you could add that for point two. Now keep in mind you can't really do this for um, Asian Small Clawed Otter, well I guess you could do that. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't really know their code name. You need to make sure that the code names match up. That is extremely important right there. Um, what I'm also going to do is size. I'm, I'm going to change these guys to at least 1.5 because they are based off of the baby. So we're going to change that right there. And what we're going to do right next is just make sure that everything else kind of matches up. Um, if you guys want to make it a walkthrough animal, you can go over here to guest escape data, escape data, and you just change all these to zero. That way they won't cause any issues for your guests. But essentially, that is it for our little um, main folder, <laughs> except for the Axi data, which we're going to do right now. So over here, we have several different things that we're going to check out. I am going to be using Sublime Text. This is my favorite thing in the world. So we're actually going to go over here and kind of condense these all down right here. So when you do use one of my prefabs for a mod or one of my existing mods, all this stuff will already be added. So juvenile scale will already be in there in case if you guys do want to use it. It's already in there, but you don't need to use it. That's the important thing. Now I'm just realizing I don't actually have my animal exports all downloaded just yet for 1.11. So I'm going to do that just in case if there were any changes within them. Actually, now that I think about it, there wouldn't be any changes within them. So I'm just going to go and go over here to Indian Peafowl. I apologize if there's still sound in here because something just made a very loud noise. So I'm going to go over here to female visuals and I'm just going to paste that in there. We're not actually going to use that one, but I still like to keep everything all like nice and tidy and together. Uh, I'm also going to go down to juvenile visuals. So what I'm going to do over here is actually take juvenile visuals and rename it to male visuals. It's going to be very crazy, but i'm just hoping to walk you guys through it i apologize by the way uh not really the best tutorial giver but i hope this starts to make sense you guys can always give me a ping on the modding server if you guys have any issues 
So now that we have all these in here, we're going to highlight Indian Pfau, uh, preferably the top one. And we're going to go replace, and then down here, right at the bottom, hello, welcome, uh, you have all these names. So you're going to change that to Vic Crown. Replace all. Excellent. So you're already getting started with this, and you're going to capitalize all of these. This is something I've noticed is usually something that always trips people up. Uh, you want to make sure that those are all capitalized. So since female is not being taken care of, uh, we don't need to worry about that one. We don't need to worry about game either. Very simple right there. Now, we're going to worry about male and juvenile. So juvenile, that is all set. Uh, that's very simple, as simple as you can get it. But the male one, this one's going to be a little bit funkier. So I got to find where it actually is. And I believe it should be under components. This is always different in every single one, and I won't know until I get there. So I do apologize if I'm uh, taking it a little slow right now. I just want to make sure that we have this right. Now all these are the names. Okay. So these are the model names, asset packages. What you're going to want to do is change this asset package to male. And it's as simple as that. Uh, that way, you will actually have referred to the male asset packages. Uh, now, what I want to show you guys how to do is actually add juvenile scale. So, I'm going to actually use a mod that does have it. So, keep this in mind. My Wombat has it. And the Victoria Crown Pigeon, which is made by Mega Game and Rex, by the way. Big shout out to him. Uh, will have it as well. So, you can find that in Axie Data. So, if you go over here, juvenile scale. Uh, do I not have it? Juvenile scale. Hello, where did you go? I thought we had juvenile scale. Okay, it seems like I don't have it over there. Uh, nevertheless, hopefully I could see if another mod has it that I have in here. I don't really know. Does the skunk mod have it? I don't know. We're going to figure that out. Uh, Axie data. So let's go over here. Juvenile scale. Okay, excellent. So it's as simple as this. It's components, juvenile scale, min, max, copy, and then you go over here. You need to find the juvenile, and then you need to go to components, I think. Hold on. Yep, okay, so you just take juvenile scale. You go to components, you paste it in here. You can clean this up to make sure it looks good, uh, kind of like that. And what I'm going to do is just have it be the full kind of like size uh, so it'll grow up from the baby up to 1.5 and then it easily transitions into the adult so that's really as simple as that could get um, so I save that and I'm gonna go back over here back to these files so that's actually perfect um, so I'm gonna go over here to my main I'm gonna go into the new folder that I made for my main files and go over here and save them now, when I did change that male to use the juvenile visuals, I need to go back over here and actually change male to actually refer back to the juvenile. This is the asset path. These are where they draw the OVLs from. So if you kind of follow this pathway down here, you could actually see that these will be um, referring back over here to the juvenile itself. Very simple stuff right there. Um, yeah, just make sure that these both link up if you are doing something a little bit funky like that. Uh, so now I could delete those. I should be all set and we could load into the game right now. So I'll tell you what, I'll see you guys there. So very quickly, I had completely forgotten when you're in Axie data, you will want to do the same thing for replacing. Uh, so go over here and change Indian P file. No spaces. That's something I completely forgot. No spaces to your new code name. Very simple as that. Now you can re inject that uh, because I had completely forgotten about that leaf from the future. Woo! Um, so you just save that and then you guys should be able to see it in game. So let's just jump over there. And there we have it. So I did have one issue. I'm not sure if I caught it in the video or not. Uh, well, in the tutorial, really. Um, I did have one issue with the init. It didn't save over when I did change the male asset package to say juvenile. 
Uh, so just keep that in mind. Just always make sure that you're saving. Always make sure that you're triple checking your stuff. But look at this. We have a beautiful new bird in the game. Always great to have. So that is really, really fun. And I'm super happy about that. Only thing that I need to do later is the LODs, but that should be relatively easy to do. I hope you guys were able to pick up some awesome, like, little tips and tricks from this video. I hope I was clear and concise enough. If you guys have any issues, please, the link to the modding server is in the description down below. If you have any questions at all, people are there to help you. Uh, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always the best. Uh, again, any questions below? Thank you. Uh, hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. I already said that. Goodbye.